Hello everyone, my name is Charlie and I'm a third year dental student and here I am taking you guys on a day of my life. So today is Saturday, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk over to school. Um, before I ever enter school, we always start off with doing a daily symptom screening on our phones. We go to a tent to get our temperatures taken. If we're good to go, we will get a special wristband and we'll be able to enter all of the GSDM buildings. So here we are on the fifth floor. This is one of the treatment centers. Can't really show you inside because there are patients in there, but this is also where some of the lockers are. Every floor has a bunch of lockers. Mine just so happens to be on the fifth floor and lucky or not so lucky, I got a bottom locker. So very easy to reach and grab all my stuff, put cases in there. So typically um, before going to see a patient or before going into the simulation learning center, I will go to my locker, grab my stuff and then, or drop off my backpack and stuff. Uh, before heading inside. So now I think we're gonna go ahead and head over to the simulation center. Here we are also in the simulation learning center. So we have our mask, our face mask, PPE on, and I would have gloves if I was doing stuff, but talking to you guys. So here we are. Um, it's brand new, very, very cool. We have our jaws, our seats to come with all these beautiful computers, this really awesome light. Um, we have our x-ray machines and all that good stuff for different residents, different specialties to come in here and practice before they see patients or for all our preclinical classes to happen in. So we do come in here for first and second year to do all of our um, preclinical class work. But we also have the opportunity to sign up once a week with COVID and everything, before we'd come in whenever there was space. Now we sign up just to make sure everyone has the opportunity to come practice if they need to, um, if they have extra time outside of class. As you can see, everything is pretty brand new. People are working pretty hard. There's actually water in the simulation learning center now as compared to when I was a first year, there was no water. So it's actually really, really exciting. Okay, so after a busy day in the simulation learning center or having a, a patient in the morning, typically I would go ahead and go get lunch. There are a lot of spaces to go eat lunch here at school, both at the dental school and at the medical campus. Um, or you could eat outside or there's various restaurants that you can go in. I typically have bring lunch from home and just find like a room or a space outside to go ahead and eat. Going up. So there are various places to have lunch around school, um, a bunch of different restaurants. There is a cafeteria with a restaurant underneath it in the basement of the medical school that we can also go to. Um, I usually am a person that brings their own lunch, so there are some tables with some social distancing rules um, on them that you could bring your lunch out here if the weather is nice. And um, typically I would do that before I head into class. So here we are in 670. As you can see, it's a pretty large lecture hall. Um, this is where we take our second and third year classes, and we usually take them with the AS or the advanced standing students um, as a second and a third year. Um, so as you can see, there is a lot of tape, a lot of stickers telling you where to sit, where not sit, just because of COVID and having to make sure we are socially distanced, but also getting our learning and getting our education. Um, thankfully, Academic Affairs has made a special schedule for us um, that is a ro on a rotating basis. So every few weeks you have the opportunity if you would like to, or have every few weeks you have the opportunity to come and sit in the lecture hall like this one. So if you're a person like me who really does enjoy sitting in lecture and hearing the person face to face, you have the opportunity to do so. Otherwise, if I wasn't here in 670, I would probably be at home um, watching the lectures live um, via Zoom or via our Echo 360, which is our uh, video support service that we have on our um, school's uh, Blackboard website. So here I am at the Talbot Green. This is another great place to have lunch, study, hang out. There are some tables here. Um, definitely a beautiful place to come sit. Right behind me, we have the public 
or the School of Public Health building, and here I am about to head into the uh, BU School of Medicine. So after a day of treating patients or having class and I want to come and do some extra studying, we can go ahead and enter the medical school and get that done. Okay, so here we are on the 11th floor of the medical school. This is our testing center. Pre-COVID, this is where we would take all of our exams and on the off time when there wasn't any exam scheduled for medical or dental students, this would be a study space. Now with COVID, all of our exams as third year dental students are remote, so we don't have to use this space anymore, but you can come in during the day if you'd like to find a place to study quietly, or if you just wanna find a space outside of your house that might be helpful to you. Typically after studying or having a fun day with patients or um, in the simulation learning center, I will go to the gym, relax, decompress, and do all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of a day in the life of a third year dental student here at the Goldman School of Dental Medicine. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to the admissions ambassadors, admissions office, and uh, we hope to see you soon.